Yo, what's good people welcome back to the channel my name is Rom so 2021 has definitely been year of the dunks we have seen so many of the GR dunks drop this year we've got some absolute bangers I picked up so many pairs of dunks this year but today we have the latest colorway on the channel we have the white green noise dunk low we're gonna be taking a closer look at this in the video check these out Yes, people, I hope all is well with you. In this video, I'll be reviewing this latest colorway from the Nike Dunk Low. I'll be looking at the design, the materials used, sizing, and I'll also be giving you my opinion when it comes to resale. And of course, that on feet look will be in the video as well, so make sure you watch the entire video for that. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please remember to hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Let's get straight into the review. So let me just start by saying that this is probably the cleanest pair of dunk clothes I've seen this year. This white really does pop, especially when you put it in the light. It really does pop. It's a really, really great shade of white. And this green just tops off the shoe, makes it even more special in my opinion. As you know, I'm a huge fan of green, especially when green is on shoes. And these just absolutely pop. It's just a really, really great release from Nike when it comes to these shoes. Very, very nice color. The colorway is just absolutely incredible on this shoe. So we had these sneakers drop a couple of days ago in the UK and the retail price was the usual 90 pounds. And I think that's a fair retail price for the shoe that you get. The materials aren't the greatest, but it's, you're kind of getting what you pay for when it comes to these. I managed to grab my pair from the Nike Cup, which is where I grab pretty much all my dunk pairs these days. But I am really, really happy with the shoe in general. It's just a really nice shoe. The colorway is just absolutely banging on this though. You can't go wrong with this colorway in my opinion. So the entire shoe is done from this synthetic leather that they put on the GR Dunks this year. And I'll give you a comparison of what actual leather looks like on a shoe. So this is the Pollen Jordan 1 High and this has some of the best leather we've seen this year. If you look at the side of the shoe, you can see how the leather is rippled, the toe box as well. Very soft, very premium. You come to these, yeah. It is literally not the same. It doesn't feel like leather in my opinion. It feels more like plastic. It's just not great. But then again, you kind of get what you pay for because these retail for about 150 pounds and these retail for 90 pounds. So you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to leather on the shoe. So we're going to take a closer look at this shoe. So we're going to start with the toe box. You get a white toe box on the shoe with that synthetic leather. Feels okay. It's not the best. I have definitely seen better. The mud guard is in the exact same material. You come to the laces, you get your nice white laces. I think that goes really well with the shoe. You do get an extra pair of lace, which is in green and it matches that noise green color, which I think would probably suit the shoe a little bit better. I think it will probably pop a bit more. And obviously you come to the tongue, you get a white tongue with that nylon colorway and, and it's got the knife tongue tab on there as well. You come to the side of the shoe, you get the same colorway on the side, a really, really nice white leather on the side. And it's the same with the swoosh. You get a nice green swoosh stitched into the shoe. You come to the midsole, the midsole is done in white. You come to the back of the shoe, you get the Nike logo stitched into the back in that, on the green tab. Come to the outsole, the outsole is done in a really, really nice shade of green. I think that is the best part of the shoe in my opinion. That outsole is just really nice. You come to the insole of the shoe, you do get the Nike logo inside, which I think is pretty cool. So when it comes to sizing for any Nike Dunk Lows, I always go true to size. It fits absolutely perfect. Any Air Force Ones, Nike Dunk Lows, anything like that, I always go true to size. Whenever it's the Nike SB Dunks, I always go half a size up. But for these, you should be okay going true to size. Fits absolutely perfect, loads of room inside. So let's talk about resale for these sneakers. And there's a little bit of lunch money to be made when it comes to this sneaker. These are currently reselling for that 120 to around that 160 range, depending on the size. And I think that's a really good return for a shoe that retail for 90 pounds, which isn't that bad in my opinion. This is definitely something I wouldn't hold on to to resell at any point because I don't expect these to go up in value. This is definitely something to hold to rock especially summer is coming you know these are going to absolutely pop when you put them out in the sun so definitely one to hold for summer in my opinion hold on to these 
until the summer because I don't see these going up in value. I think they're going to be staying around that same mark as it is at the moment. So my final thoughts on the Nike Dunk Low in the white green noise colorway. These are absolutely incredible. What a great colorway this shoe is. The only problem with this shoe is the material. But as I said before, you kind of get what you pay for. These are going to be absolutely perfect when it comes to summer. So these, in my opinion, are definitely a must cop. I think you should cop these right now, hold them until the summertime because these will absolutely pop in the summertime. Sunshine is gonna make these shoes absolutely go off. So definitely one to hold until them and you can grab these for a decent price as well right now. So definitely grab these, these are a must cop. Yes, my people, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and find the information useful. Please remember if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. The unfeed portion of the video is coming now.